the Synergy 8 folks over here that make me smile all the time, the, the Minister of Health, Shem Landry, my team, Vicki Smart and Pat Stewart, the paramedics, the nurse practitioners, and the ambulance, thank you, Chuck, thank you so much. So I just wanted to get that off the plate right away because I just think this is such a great day. The biggest probably uh, thank you that we can do and the most respect that we get out of doing these projects is the partners that put their faith in us uh, financially, fiscally, and just reputation-wise and on a great campaign and, and have an association with our name. And that's what uh, Hot Ash Park has done. Uh, Sassman Health Region, Sassman St. Paul's Hospital Foundation, who I know a lot of the board are here today. And uh, just the journey that you know, we went on, uh, I think it was June when Leon came over from Crestline and we said, hey, listen, we need to build a 45-foot bus. And he almost fell over, and we got him back up and revived him. Uh, he grabbed Dean from Turtle Top out of Chicago, or sorry, out of South Bend. And at the end of the day, five months later, this is built, and it's North America, biggest in North America, three miles of wiring in this thing, built out of pure steel. It's, it's all stuff that we were told. And uh, at the end of the day, it's just about partnerships and putting on great events and classy events. And, our speakers that, that are here today, we thank you for coming and being a part of us and associated with us. Uh, Minister McMorris, can't say enough that you support us on this and took a step out with, with us eight guys to, to trust us with this. And we think that we put a, a pretty good project together, but again, there's an entire team effort. So thank you for coming today and we appreciate your support. We really have tried to put a lot of our emphasis in Saskatoon on the uh, inner city core areas trying to make a difference there for those who are less fortunate. And this fits that bill extremely well. So on behalf of Quad Ash Court, thank you for allowing us to participate. And best wishes with the program. We're very happy for it. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Sheila, to uh, the honored guests. Uh, Sitting G8, uh, also Kelly Block, MD, uh, as he is here too. Thanks for being here. It is a real privilege uh, to be here uh, on the uh, relaunch, I guess you'd say, of the health bus. Uh, I remember, Sheila, the first time we started to talk about it, I was in the boardroom in, in, in Saskatoon here, and there was yourself, and I, I'm not even sure who else was here. I know you were instrumental in those conversations right off the bat, I think maybe Dave was there, talking about the possibility of a health bus, which really, of course, we've never seen here in Saskatchewan, but how we were going to, through the health bus, uh, take medical care to the community, instead of having some of the community having to enter some of our facilities that they, they quite frankly didn't maybe feel comfortable entering. And it was a novel idea, and I thought, well, let's, let's give it a try. So it really has been a very successful, as like Shua said, in three years. Uh, I really want to thank uh, the organizing committees then, but also especially the groups that have got behind it since, Synergy 8, uh, and the Potash Court, of course, the Ministry of Health with our $50,000 and then ongoing operating costs, and the Saskatoon Health Region to make this a reality. I haven't been through the new bus. It looks beautiful, uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, going on, the, uh, on a bit of a tour. But I can tell you that it is a welcoming. It looks very welcoming, and that's what we need it to be. When it's in the community and people are in need of health care that don't feel comfortable walking into some of our facilities, uh, this has been a, 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 certainly a welcome home for them uh, to, to deal with some of their chronic uh, health issues perhaps or even through education, which is certainly done. Uh, thank you very much for all of those that have put this uh, uh, together and to make it a reality. And I also want to just briefly thank the people that work within the, uh, the bus. You know, uh, like our, all of our buildings, it's bricks and mortar, but this isn't bricks and mortar. It's tires and metal, as Troy said, and quite a bit of wiring. Uh, but that's what it is, and really what makes it uh, uh, work are the people that work with inside, with, within it. And I want to thank all those healthcare professionals, through the nurse practitioners and, and all the others uh, that work in this, uh, this facility on wheels uh, to provide the excellent healthcare. Thank you very much. The Health Plus is all about teamwork. And uh, I'm told that Dave Duchak was at a, at a function that with the Chamber of Commerce, and Maura Davies 
talked about the need to reach into the inner city to help with immunization and with primary care and prevention. And they've offered an efficient approach, just as the Ministry of Health has called the region and said, we really need to do something to get into the inner city. And some generative thinking and partnerships formed and everyone got together and they created this Health Plus concept that is now being recognized nationally. It's a privilege to recognize the fantastic work that all of you have done in Saskatoon to make the Health Plus a reality. In a little over three years, you now see over 3,000 patients in the neighborhoods of Saskatoon. Having a community paramedic and nurse practitioner work out of a state-of-the-art bus as you have today truly is innovation at its best. It was my privilege this past week to report to the Standing Committee on Health the successes that you have achieved in the Health Plus Success Team. Kelly Block, your MP, recognized the great work that you've done to her fellow MPs on the Standing Committee. It gave me an opportunity to be proud of the great work, Dave, that you've done at Saskatoon at MD Annuals, and as well, the partnerships that you've brought from not-for-profit organizations through the private sector together to make this project a reality. Congratulations, and we look forward to continued celebration of your success. So today is truly a day of celebration, that in fact we are one of those special communities that come up with special ideas all the time, and anyone can be number two, but only one can be first. And when I hear we have the longest one and the best one in, the, in North America, that's just wonderful and great to have. Because of that, the city of Saskatoon, the province of Saskatchewan, the great nation of Canada is what it is today, a place that can truly shine because of all of us. Thanks ever so much, and many more years of success. Thank you. Tim and I said, Tim, 
between the community medicine stuff that the Chiefs of Canada are talking about and Saskatoon, what can we do? Tim came up with some, some ideas of how we can connect. I sent that to Shan Landry and said, Shan, we've got some ideas. What do you think? She says, Dave, I think these are, these are solvent. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm going to work on them. Six months later, uh, there was a call from Regina saying, let's work on something. Let's wrap a, a project up in the Saskatoon. Shan says, well, I think I got one in the hopper here. If it wasn't for Shan, we're really pushing for this. She says, Dave, we got to get at this. Let's get at it quickly. You're, you're plugged into the, into the community and the private sector. Uh, we need you to, to get to work on this. Uh, Shan, let's, uh, let's make it happen. Within four months, we presented the idea to Crestline Coach. Crestline said, you need it. we needed this converted by when? We said uh, within three months. Within four months from the idea to um, launch, it happened. And so Shan, I'm very proud to say that this was your push right from the start, and thank you very much for that partnership.